we were racing away to see if we could find Tingana, <coughs> which luckily we did. But, uh, well, that special time, that leopard is now over. And now we are with a deeply aged giraffe with an oxpecker on his face. And indeed, as we opened up there, an oxpecker in his bottom, which I think is a slightly undignified way to spend your morning, frankly. As Seb was scandalized. He, in fact, um, he, he, <laughs> he asked if it wasn't perhaps inappropriate to start on that picture. And I said, no, no, Seb, it is our duty out here to show reality in all of its beauty and its, indeed its ugliness. Now, you might be asking why I say he's so old. Look at how gnarled his head is. His horns are unusual sizes. He's got a huge, big median horn. And that's that sort of calcification of the skull that takes place in all giraffe. He's got a great big bunion above his left eye. He's done very well to get to this stage, and I'd put him in roughly 14 or 15 years, perhaps. Now, there is still an enormous amount of consternation in the river to the south of this dam that we're at. We're at the Fuyatella Dam. And it would not surprise me at all to find that Tingana was about to pop out here. But equally, it would not surprise me at all if he didn't. Pitch up here. Isn't that a lovely picture? The other reason I say he's old, of course, is that he's very dark. Now, there is a common misconception that giraffes get darker as they get older. They do, but they, of course, start at different colours. And so some will start off very light and get marginally darker, and some will start off quite dark and get much darker. And so it's not always a great indicator of age, but that combined with the condition of his skin and that very gnarled skull indicate that he is very old. Yes, David, his ears do look really white, don't they? I agree with you. I think his ears are very white indeed. Why would they be white? Possibly so that they can communicate visually with the other giraffe of an area. And he's eating, he's eating tamburi trees, which are not very healthy for human beings. And I imagine some of our more regular viewers must be wondering, where is the Inkuhuma pride? And I will tell you that there's a huge amount of confusion generally amongst even the guides who are able to drive on far greater traversing areas than ours. Biffles Hook and Torchwood, they don't know where the Inkuhuma pride is. Such grace and poise they have, don't they? Balletic in their movements. <laughs> 